We're surrounded by screens for much of our daily life. Televisions, computers, mobile phones, tablets, the GPS in the car, and so on. And around 90% of these screens draw on the same technology, LCD or liquid crystal display. The man behind this technology is Swiss inventor Martin Schatt. Sales of LCD TV screens are thought to have overtaken the older cathode ray technology in 2007, and in 2012, 40 million sets were sold. They are flat, they are low weight, they have a very low operating voltage, a very low power consumption. You can view them from any directions today. Uh, they have a very good color quality. To look around here in this shop, we have portable radios, so all portable applications, they wouldn't be possible with, without this technology because they would consume too much power to display the information which they have to display. We went to meet Martin Schatt in the Swiss town of Lichtal, not far from Basel. The 75-year-old continues to work on his invention, improving the optical quality of the display and trying to open up new fields and new applications for the liquid crystals. Unsurprisingly, he has plenty of LCD screens at home. To see how they work, we need to get up close and personal with the screen itself. The image is composed of thousands of little dots which continually change color and brightness. Let's start with these two optical filters which are identical and they are an integral part of every liquid crystal display. Uh, these filters have the property that they pass only light which oscillates in one direction. That means if I place these two filters behind each other in parallel then the light can pass, they are bright. If I rotate one of these filters by 90 degrees, then light cannot pass and uh, the display appears, so to say, black. And the liquid crystal display does this manual rotation electrically. These filters represent a little dot. In this way, the brightness of each dot can be graduated from dark to light and the colors can be adjusted with the appropriate filters. In this way, the optical signal on each of the thousands of dots is created. This is the first LCD screen ever created. Martin Schatt built it in 1971. Here, the liquid crystals are tested to see how they perform in high temperatures, as LCD screens have to be able to resist extremes of heat and cold. Martin Schatz been nominated for the Lifetime Achievement category in the European Inventor Awards, organized by the European Patent Office, which will be held in Amsterdam on May the 28th. For me, inventing is something of a lifestyle, say. You are curious, you want to find new ways, you want to discover uh, new aspects of which other people don't think and uh, this is very exciting and uh, it never ends. You've invented a technology that's used today by millions of people around the world. How do you feel about that? This is very useful for a lot of people. Uh, it, it enables you to communicate with uh, machines, with uh, cars, with airplanes and so on and this is very exciting I think. Mm -hmm. 